Okay, welcome back to the channel. So today we are looking at cutting out the kitchen cabinets, basically the kitchen area, the drawers, the seating area, overhead lockers, bits and pieces like that. So Alan up at 100 Sports Homes here has this CNC router that he uses for bits like this. There's still a, a lot of work. I mean, these are templates for different bands, different bits and pieces. There's still a lot of bits and pieces that you're better off quicker and easier just to do by hand. But things like drawers and almost like a kitchen unit effectively, this can be cut on here because it's 100% accurate. Everything is millimeters perfect. It's totally square, nice sharp edges, no chipping. It's literally a professional finish. Um, really, really lucky that Alan has this. Uh, obviously it's a massive piece of equipment, very expensive, and it does take a bit of time to get to learn how to use it and obviously Alan's experience with this is, is paramount here. Um, now if you are enjoying these videos please do like and subscribe it really does help the channel out and if you have any comments at all please ask them down below and uh, I'll do my best to answer any questions. So what we're going to do is run through cutting up this board uh, I'll put it on time lapse just to speed it up obviously it's very noisy so it'll be two passes. The first pass will actually cut all the shapes and the second pass will go around and clean everything up, uh, hoover up all the uh, sawdust etc that's left behind. Then it's a question of, then it's a question of labeling everything up and um, sort everything out ready to build up. So this video will be mostly just cutting these boards. So with that, we'll uh, get on and make a start. Thanks a lot. Okay, so as you can see, all the edges are nice and clean. Now it's held together by these little tabs. You can see in there, they're spaced every so often. It just helps keep everything apart and in position. The wood itself is held down onto the bed with a, a vacuum. That's what the uh, machine does. It's obviously quite noisy, but... So the next job now is to label up all these bits and pieces and knock these tabs off knock all the little tabs and bits and pieces off and then label them all up and then stack them and cut the next one so i'll just get that done now
Okay, so it's a couple of weeks later now and I've started putting these bits and pieces together. So once everything was cleaned up off the CNC, all labelled up ready, so sorted them all out. But basically, the next step is to put pocket holes where needed and knock trim uh, all the edges so that there's no bare wood showing. So there's a, a drawer front. This is the little drawer that sits next to the fridge. And, oh sorry, on top of the fridge. So there's a drawer front to sit on here. That's why this knock out here that's for the room for the catch on the drawer front so no, all this will be seen which is why there's no fixings at all seen in there all the fixings are on the sides and on the back so drawer bottom again all pocket hold all screwed together nice and tight nice clean cut finishes and everything it's just a nice no chips no wavy lines everything's 100 percent so I'm going to get this installed now, um, probably won't show you that in this video because I need to get it done. We're off to Norway very shortly um, in the van, which is why I'm kind of hustling to try and get it finished. And that's why the videos have been so slow. But um, once it's all done, we'll probably do a, a reveal video at the end. But I'm okay, really happy with these and the way they're going. So if you are enjoying this channel, if you are enjoying the content, please do like and subscribe. It really does help us out. And I'll see you again soon on the next one. Ta-ra for now.